Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakorash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never to waken up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another uh, spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I quote precepts. Okay. Now, what I want to go into in this episode is the fact that, um, as you see on the screen, that war drum is being beaten. Okay. Now, obviously, um, you know, understanding prophecy and the breakdown of the scriptures. Okay. We are in the stage of rumors of wars. Okay. And the reality is that uh, war is not going to fully ensue until the implementation of the RF to the ID. Okay, or the MO to the TB. Okay. And that's the beauty of understanding prophecy because, you know, I've, I've seen video after video after video, um, you know, as far as truthers go, uh, basically predicting when World War III would start. Okay. They actually have dates on September 30th, which is passed already. Okay. And the reason why they, um, you know, they can make those uh, false claims. It's because they really don't have the t uh, uh, the spirit of prophecy, okay? Hey, but the Wadi Hal by Shema Al Shai, we do. We have that eye salve, and we understand the scriptures, okay? Their war is not going to kick off until they start, you know, C uh, C H I P ing, <laughs> C H I P ing everybody, okay? But nonetheless, that war drum is being beaten, man, and um, you know you can actually see that the Heavenly Father, okay. Uh, has his spirit dwelling highly, okay, or heavily, Salakia, upon um, Vladimir Putin, okay? Um, at this stage now, we're not hearing troops deployed or, or um, you know, uh, uh, missile silo this or, no, 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 we're hearing straight heat, nuke this and nuke that, man, okay? And this is an exciting time. Okay, and I was watching a video where uh, Putin uh, had a celebration, okay, with uh, four of the leaders of the four uh, territories that he has annexed over there in the territories of Russia, okay? And first thing pops in your mind is, uh, what's that, Ezekiel, I believe it's 38 or 39, where it says, I will put hooks in our jaws, okay? Because what happened was the USSR had disbanded, Okay. But guess what? The Lord has put those hooks back in the jaws, okay, of the Russians, okay, which is Gog and Magog, and they're starting to form their alliance again. The USSR is coming back together, okay, annex Ukraine and three other territories, okay? Oh, no, Salaki, annex Crimea, Salaki, and uh, three other territories. And just uh, last week or the week before, okay, they had a celebration, and all four of those leaders, along with, uh, uh, Putin, you know, basically uh, was celebrating their alliance. You see, and you can see, you can, you can absolutely see in his countenance that the Lord has put the spirit of war upon him, man. Okay, and then obviously we understand the vibration of the heavenly Father. What's that, Ezekiel? I mean, Exodus fifteen and three. The Most High is a man of war. Okay, Yahweh Shimei Shai is his name. You see. But for the most part, I, like I mentioned earlier, that these are uh, merely war uh, rumors of wars, okay? But that gives us confidence and that lets us know uh, the times that we're living in, okay? Uh, what's that, Luke 21, Matthew 24? These were questions that the disciples or the apostles asked uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? When shall be the... Uh, 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 the coming of these things, Lord. And then one of the main things he um, he brought out as the indicator was rumors of wars. You see? So this is, hey, this is a fine time to be a believer of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And um, I did a show a couple weeks ago uh, uh, about how that the Euphrates 
and the Tigers rivers are drying up and it falls right into prophecy Revelation the 16th chapter okay uh, unprecedented heat around the world you see over there in, uh, I believe that's Pakistan the goddamn concrete is melting you see but that river Euphrates being dried up hey, to do what to make way for the kings of the east to come over and make war okay to meet where in that uh, 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 the valley of Yahweh Shapat the valley of Jehoshaphat okay and it's astounding man how accurate the scriptures are you see and that's the standard and that's why we boldly profess that this what, what the standard is okay the scriptures tell us what go ye upon that high mountain and lift up that banner that banner is the scriptures okay why because they're faithful and true and they are the standard you see everything else can be debunked and uh, uh proven faulty okay but not the scriptures and and now that, that is a that's why it's referred to as the comforter okay and, and it has given us ultimately that i sell okay because i mentioned this also man you know a lot of truthers they're a lot man you 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 fucking bug out if you try to keep up with all the truthers and you know conspiracy theorists okay that obviously are not conspiracy theorists anymore because the things that the conspiracy theorists were bringing out years ago and and now as we speak they're actually happening in real time okay but the reality is being a conspiracy theorist is not going to get you delivered okay and you got conspiracy theorists and truthers that of all, all walks of life now obviously we know that uh only israelites can receive salvation okay but for the most part everybody's in the hey not Salakia, not everybody okay but there are a large amount of people that are in the know and that see exactly what's going down and they're bringing out the truth now obviously they're not relating it to prophecy or the scriptures okay but they're just bringing out truths that ultimately the lord is revealing like the scriptures say there's nothing that is secret that shall not be revealed roughly paraphrasing okay and they're bringing it out and ultimately to edify the hopefully let and give us ammunition to do shows man you know lord willing i do a show you know just on you know how the vibration of war is extremely prevalent okay and like i said hey you got the people that are truthers and uh that see what's coming they really don't have a contingency plan and they're bugging out and really they're praying to an unknown god that these things don't happen when the reality is these things for our fulfilling prophecy they line exactly up with the scriptures okay and that's why we ought to be thankful man like the brother uh the beloved brother uh uh uh, Yar uh yaramaya out in uh the chicago camp him and the brothers just did a, a show on it's a blessing you know it's a blessing to be a part of this ministry man the world is about to implode man okay the world is about to implode under the inhabitants thereof they're about to bring destruction upon their own selves and the world can see it you know those truthers can see it but they don't have a, a, a outlet they don't know what to do about it okay because the things that are coming are, are really out of the out of the uh control of the citizens okay and now everybody is is, is familiar with the conglomerate with the one percenters okay the people that have absolute control and in, in, in uh, uh totalitarian totalitarian uh government vibration okay although they preach democracy and uh all that other bs but the reality is okay um they have complete control and they're trying to push their new world order okay and one of the main things that's gonna uh uh, uh push that vibration is uh it's order ab chaos okay meaning order out of chaos and what better way to do that than to kick off war okay and that's their mindset the elites of this society believe that when they bring this third world's war okay they pretty much can force everybody to comply to their new war system okay which is also uh, uh written in the scriptures you see so we have that foresight and that understanding and we don't hey as the scriptures say never trust our enemy Okay, so regardless of what happens, we're not going to conform to this world. Okay, why? Because we're not of this world. 
Okay, we're we're we we're, we're, we're from the heavens, like Yahweh Shah said, man. Okay, but nonetheless, all these rumors of wars and the signs that we're seeing, they are to motivate us, man, and to keep us pressing towards that mark. Okay, because those things have to happen in order for us to be delivered, and that should be your mindset. Whatever it takes, Lord. Okay, even if I become a victim or, or, or a martyr for 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 the word. Now, obviously, um. No one wants to die, okay? But we understand what death is, and we understand, uh, uh, you know, what that would entail in these times, okay? The dead in Yahweh shall sure rise first. So there ain't really nothing to uh, fret upon or, or amuse about, okay? Just continue doing your job, I can, and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, okay? And doing the things that are conducive to salvation, and we'll make it out of here, man, okay? But like I say, that, that vibration of war, okay, uh, 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 this uh, new government, uh, 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 this new world order, all of these things are extremely prevalent. You can taste it, okay? But nonetheless, we remain comforted, comforted okay? Why? Because we have the scriptures. We have that understanding. We have that foresight, this uh, spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? And if we continue and we stay steadfast in this ministry, we'll be okay. Okay? But it's a beautiful thing to hear of all these uh, these rumors of wars and, you know, nuclear talks. Okay? And Putin is absolutely gesturing like, I dare you. Okay? And then, you know, hey, that pipeline that was destroyed over there, that, that is a major, major uh, uh, situation. Okay? So let's, hey, buckle our seatbelts and stay tuned and see where, where that leads us. But obviously, we know what has to come first, okay? And that's the implementation of that uh, 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 Karakma, man, okay? That, that, that stake <laughs> implanted, okay? So, yeah, I don't want to rant too much. Um, and um, Lord willing, I made the point. So with that, I say Shalom.